blood, sweat, and snow. Lakeshore and Southeast neighborhoods clashed Wednesday evening to celebrate the seventh annual Battle for Bascom. Tensions were high as Lakeshore came to defend a 6-0 winning streak, knowing exactly why they deserved to win. Because I'm on it, and like obviously, Captain Wisconsin here, myself, is on it. So we're the best. But Southeast wasn't ready to give up either. Pretty confident, yeah. I'm not too worried because, I don't know, I just got a good feeling, I guess. After charging Southeast's front lines to the side of the hill, Lakeshore took its seventh victory in a row. So ended this chapter of one of campus's newest traditions that's quickly cementing itself into the foundations of student life. Well, I always thought it was really cool, like on all the um, uh, advertisements for like admissions and everything, they have pictures of all the events, and this is always one of them, and where like Bucky's getting pelted with snowballs, so I thought like <laughs> that was super cool um, to have like such a large amount of people doing this. So yeah. This year's mild winter made planning the event difficult, but Monday's 2.3 inch snowfall let the tradition continue. Winners or losers, the battle for Bascom is one part of what makes being a Badger so great. For the Daily Cardinal, I'm Chris Lewinberg.